What's up developers, it's Dory here and welcome back to a new video where I'm going to cover the where no and where not no methods in Laravel collections. Before we dive into details of this method, let's first discuss where both of these methods are useful. Sometimes, when working with data, you may encounter situations where you need to filter out records where a specific column has a null value. This is where the where no method comes into play. In Laravel, the where no method is used to filter the collection based on the values of a specific column that is null. It is a method that is commonly used in conjunction with the eloquent model. And one of the reasons why the where no method is so powerful is that it allows you to filter through large collections of data pretty quickly and easily. And besides, it's also a very great way to retrieve all the records from a database table that have a null value in a specific column. When defining our migration, we said that the excerpt column could be nullable. But inside our article factory, we also said that the fake method should add a value to it. So let's update a couple rows inside our database before we continue on. So let's define our article model and let's use the where method first, where we're going to find articles where the minutes to read are greater than let's say 8. Then we're going to chain the update method to it because we're going to update all those rows and we're going to set the excerpt equal to null. Once we perform our request, you'll see that it has updated 14 articles. So let's get rid of a query because we don't need it anymore. And let's see how the where null method works. So let's define our article model again and let's use the where null method and we need to chain the get method to it. The where null method requires one argument, which is the name of the column you want to filter. We just updated a couple records inside our database where we set the excerpt equal to null. So let's pass in a string of excerpt right here. Now this code will return all the articles from the articles table that have a null value in the excerpt column. To double check that, uh, let's replace the get method with the count method, where you will see that it has retrieved records, which the update method also returned back. So this is correct. Now let's quickly see how this works on an instance method that we can call. So let's define a new variable named collection and let's set it equal to the collect method. Pass in an array, another array where we have a key of name and a value of desk. And right outside of it, we're going to add a comma and add another array where the key is name, but the value is equal to null. Then right under our article where no query, we could basically use our collection variable and chain the where null method to it, where we need to pass in a key of let's say name. Once we perform our request, where you will see that it has returned a new collection where the name is equal to null. Now next to the where null method, Larva offers the complete opposite, which is the where not null method. And let me scroll down a little bit, all right. And the where null method is used to filter the collection based on the values of a specific column that is not null. It is useful when you need to retrieve records from a database table that have a non-null value in a specified column. We could technically use the same exact use case that we have on our screen. So let's say that we want to filter the collection that we just defined and only show the items where the name has been set. To achieve that, we can use our collection variable, change the where not null method to it, pass in a key of name. Now this code right here has returned all the items from the collections variable that have a non-null value in the name, which is in our case desk. Now the where not null method can also be used as a static method that we could call on a model class. So let's say article colon colon where not null and let's get the values. Now let's say that we only want to retrieve rows where the excerpt is not null. Once we perform our request, you'll see a complete list. So let's replace get with count, where you'll see a total of 86 rows. Quick summary, both the where null and where not null methods in Laravel are used to filter a collection based on a value of a specified column that is null or not null. These methods can be used in eloquent models and are very useful for retrieving data from the database table. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover the where date, where day, where month, where year, and where time methods. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.